Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3, where last episode we became Crusaders for Spuds as Eon looked to spread the gospel of his spongy children to other colonies, deciding at first upon Colony Mew, helping them plant some fields of the crop and even making it into a tasty new dish to convince them to worship their new bounty. We now grab the Asia region's origin metal piece. I think Let's we should go. probably hit that Gondor quest then in the near future. I can't believe what a genius idea making a knob on how food is. I never thought of arranging the food in a fun way like that. That really got my creative juices flowing. I want to try something like that too. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Because one of our things is in the Cadencia region, which is here. Ugh. So we'll come to Colony Mew afterwards, but to space things out between main quests and everything, that is now our goal. To back to the Asia region, we will check out Colony 9 to see if anything more has appeared from me doing that. And go from there. Benefits of talking. I don't know if Colony 9's like rep went up by 700, wasn't it? Are we uh, repped out with them yet? Are we good? No? <laughs> Still, it's kind of weird to not have Colony 9 complete. It's time to eat then, no? After all the work we've put in, considering it's the colony we've known for the entirety of the game. Feels are pretty awesome when you stop to think about it. It's a chance to create life from the ground up. And us, we've learned to nurture life instead of taking it. Hmm, yes, I see that I'm looking at the face of a nurturer. Ah, uh, it's just so... I mean, when you care for something deeply, the feelings just well up, you know? Yeah, Zeon got it right when he decided to start working on these fields. I've got to acknowledge that. Kite has come a long way. I'll have to probably boost this rep from some other source then at this rate. I mean, we can do repetitive Collectopedia entries. For small increments. <laughs> But hey, if my running around claiming things off the floor has been for anything, surely it's for this. So... Let's get to our next metal bit. Oh, wait, I wanted to switch character first. Oh, signal of origin metal coming clear. Must be near now. This is starting to feel like treasure hunt. Riku gets kind of excited. You know, you've got a point. It is kind of like one big world hopping treasure hunting adventure. All right, calm down. Where's the signal then? It's coming from over that way. If judged by distance reading, probably behind that ridge. Hey, Manana, race you for it. Okay, but Manana not give up easy. The origin metal signal was coming from around here, right? Let's sniff it out. I'd be up that way, wouldn't it? You know, get in here. Who knows what we'll be fighting after all? Senna's reached rank 10. Ah. Tyon has reached rank 10 on his tank class, but of course he's being Mr. Guy for us that gives us a thing, so I might just leave him on that. You need to reach rank 11 as well. She's learned every healing class? No, apart from Troubadour. So she needs to switch to that at some point in the near future. Uh, it's probably easier for me to not do any switching at this point. We've been spotted. Wasn't much I was going to do about being able to get past you, I feel. Someone else just hit the rake, just so I was about to. The issue is that, of course, Senna is now stuck at high level. Colony 9 did have high ether. I am not blind. But it was a higher up of bits. So I've left it for now. 
A little origin metal just stuck in the floor. That's a big bit. I guess this is it. That was big. Together with the one we got from Her Majesty, that makes two. It's good luck that we found it so quickly. We can only hope the other pieces will come to us just as smoothly. Let's track down the metal in Cadencia. Alright. So there's not enemies guarding it, but it is trying to take us into areas where there might be something to fight. The problem being is that, of course, we already explored the area. I think before we move on with that, then... We should... Do a hero quest. I mean, there's high Eva right here, after all. Why not grab that? It's right in the middle of everything. If I'm going the correct direction, anyway. What's it guarded by? That's the question. Small little green capybars, right? And they're lower level than I thought they'd be. Grebels, sorry. Mr. Evasion over here. Oh, look at this guy. Dodging all my hits underground like that. Got a lock on another ether sphere. Yeah, there's places that I haven't been still. That should about do us for now. There's lots of places to go. Anyway, we need to go to a camp to discuss. So let's discuss Gondor's grumbling. Because when I think about the Cadencia region and the amount in there, Colony 15, of course, did exist there, but mm, not really two. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's now in the city. So we only have one colony to go through when we go through there. Unless you count... Oh, yeah, yeah, Colony Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been craving some downtime. Maybe we should go to Colony Zero then instead. That will probably get us a hero quest. Hmm... Gondor, you've been put on the back burner, I'm afraid. Over. Colony Zero is part of this place, so... Let's go to Ligart Prison. We'll start from deep within. This origin metal is less storyline than I thought. I thought there'd be like maybe boss fights, maybe guards, maybe something. No, we just pick it up. But considering it's given us it a piece by piece to certain like amounts, not just there's five out there, go explore. You know there is actually some events gated behind that. Something for us to experience. Theron unit number seven, reporting for duty. Welcome back to the group here. So what we got? Number three, number nine. Fixie Fixie still does not talky talky. Or at least we've talked to him multiple times. To no results. I full start with these guys after all. We've spent so much time with Colony Zero lately. I'm wondering if there's even a quest to do. What? To be honest, maybe the quest is in Agnes Castle itself. Okay, so just a just a query here. Complete acknowledging feelings. <laughs> So we need to do that first of all, before we can begin the Ascension quest. So whatever this acknowledging feelings is, it doesn't seem to be within the camp itself, within the prison camp. So let's go to Castle Agnes. 
see what's going on around here. Works for me. What is the plan at the moment? Exploring the world now that we're in chapter 7. Doing quests, you know, the exact same thing we always do, Pinky. Pretty much. Maybe acknowledging feelings is somewhere else entirely. Spent a bunch of years in the clink, and when you come out, the whole world's changed. No more console anymore, the queen's gone. It's like I don't even know what's going on anymore. Taking a story break then? No, not really. Every region we're going into questing has a story element we need to progress the story. Is it Aggie that's correct or Oggy? If I were you, I'd go and ask Gondor to be sure. So we're using the story as a guideline to move us forward. Let's rest and heal up. Okay, so Agin Oggy requires Gondor to speak with as well. Everyone, a moment of your time? Aggie and Oggy are like always right behind you, huh? Not literally always, like right now they're off doing their separate thing. How long have they been with you? Ah, oh, I forget. They've worked for House Vandam as long as I can remember, though. So it was actually those two who looked after me most since I was a tyke. You know, it makes sense. Vandam's family's got a lot going on, so raising kids is like way down the to-do list. Ah. Eh, I'm not trying to make it sound like some kind of sob story, man. They've got me out of a tight spot more than once. And anyway, guarding me was the only reason they followed me into that prison. Could be in their heads on the chopping block at any point, right? Not just anyone who risks that for you. I know I can trust them. I bet if they heard you saying that, they'd weep themselves hoarse with joy. Eh, uh, yeah. Milady, you're too kind. Ah, uh, too true. Which is exactly why you dags can never tell. Hear me? Or else. Well, we're here now, and we're literally now engaging with Gondor, so... Let's have a little huddle up. Pain in the ass. Sorry, something wrong? Eh, I guess I could tell you a lot. There's been negotiations about who from the lost numbers should be left stationed at the castle. Negotiations with the city? Yep, so they said it should be someone who could stay on good terms with Agnes. If there was anyone like that, we wouldn't be in this whole damn mess in the first place. You sound really worked up. And here's the kicker. We've got to keep it to one unit. Can you believe it? Bitch Queen strikes again. Well, let's just slow down for a moment. Hey, I know. Why don't you help us out? You've got nothing better to do, right? I would like you to rethink what you just said. Ah, uh, Monica's calling us. Ah, uh, speak of the Bitch Queen. You, you don't reckon she was listening, do you? Monica, what's up? Hey, sorry to bother you. Something's come up and we need your help rather urgently. Wanted to retrieve the contents of the material storage warehouse, but there's been a difficulty. Ah, material storage warehouse. The one that the Conservatives held. Well deduced, the very same. According to Garrett, he's not had the time to fetch it ever since the city shifted location. But I can't bear just leaving it all there. There's a lot of good stuff after all. I wanted to send an armory down that way, but there's a bunch of monsters around. I was hoping you could take out some of the ones in that area. Understood. Thanks in advance. You sure is good at dishing out orders. Come on. Let's get, get it over with. You coming with us, Gondor? We find by ourselves. I need something to take my anger out on. You're going to have to put up with me. Just keep track of what you're punching, eh? That began Side Story Center. Just needed Gondor. Okay, then. <laughs> well, that was different. Sure. Okay. I've been bamboozled. Okay. Next on the list is... To be honest, we needed a side story with Senna. We need more Senna time, so that works out. But still, I've been bamboozled. Anton was a good guy. I hope we'd be going back to the city together. Aggie, Augie, Anton. We're going to be the uh, free law supporters of Milady. That was the big plan. Should be oi. Hey, I'm sorry. I just don't know what to say to that. No, really, it's fine. What happened wasn't your fault. Just understanding how he felt. 
Would have made Anton happy. Oh, so that's how they're doing. What we need here is some decent food. Don't you know you can, can't bite on an empty stomach? I mean, you're not wrong. Right? So we've got to get a massive supply of food to the city. I wonder. Working on that with the colonies, you know. Right, Gondor, you're uh, seemingly required. There's some more information. Good grief. I've only just gone and lost my sense of direction. That's how busy I've been. Where should I bring these supplies? Right, I'd imagine you should bring them to the supply team. Peak busyness. <laughs> we'll be back here because we still got to really check out the lower portion when you think about it. Alright, let's uh, continue the way we're supposed to be. Side story, Senna has begun. Off we go then. You want us to wipe all these out? Uh, hi! <laughs> Break! I know what you want. Suddenly, Uni gets wiped out. Alright, it's one between two of us. Not that guy further off then. We got swamped. Yep. Job the good un. Seems a bit slapdash if you ask me. But it'll do. Enough to keep it secure at least. Noah, you can tell the city. Will do. I did it! I'm a candidate! What rank? Huh? Rank? What place were you? They must have said. I... I ranked eighth place. A reserve, then. But in the third test, there were a hundred people. Only six of us can become Ouroboros. If you aren't one of those six, you may as well be dead last. We are one of the six houses. The Reed family honor is at stake. And Vandom? Huh? The Vandom girl, Gondor. Gondor was... first place. Wow. <sighs> those bloody upstarts at it again. How could we lose to those nobodies? Every generation up until your father, bless his soul, made the main team. <sighs> if only dear Titania were still alive. <gasps> Some legacy this is.
Bad parent, eh? Congrats, Lamb. As of today, you're officially a fully-fledged Mobius, comrade. I became... Mobius. You can play to your heart's content. The fun starts here, eh? You get a fresh start? Forget about your old self. So I get to do... whatever I want. You want to be someone, right? Not some kind of phony. The real deal. <sighs> Don't you have any originality? You can be. You've just got to destroy the faker. See? The faker. Come on now. Be true to yourself. I know who it is. The faker. Good old self teleporting armor. Guess that's our ride. They're late as hell. Could have got here in half the time. Let's go meet them. Got a rare dude all right here. Could have seen that coming, could you? I should check out what's on the left, really, but well, we're supposed to go over there. Because let's face it, no one stays dead in this. Well, unless you're blown up in a singularity, I guess. <laughs> you haven't seen anyone come back from that yet. <laughs> And you verified that. What's wrong? Mobius. But how 
would they know where... What? What's happened? Oh! Gondor! It's Mobius. They attacked the city. <gasps> Mobius did? For real? The perpetrator... ...was Shania. I mean, we saw her die. Well, it happened before with Yorin. Spark it. So she's joined their ranks. Shania. Senna. I knew it. I saw this coming. And still, I couldn't. Senna, you want to see this through, don't you? We've got your back, okay? Come on, let's go. Hmm. I have to do this. I swear. I'll settle this. On my life. It will be done. Forget the cargo! Get us to the city! Mom! Gondor, take us with you. Senna, you sure? She's Mobius, right? Then we've got to go with you. This is Shania. You up to it? A friend of ours became Mobius too. But still, we came to terms with that. Never knew. Real tough cookies, ain't ya? Speak for yourself, as hard as nails. You can still back out. Last chance. No. It's fine. I'll do this. All right, then. Move it! Get your asses on board and let's hustle! It's really like... Are you sure? You're coming with us? It's like... She's a Mobius. Literally only we can do the job. Or so we thought. <laughs> Editing quite a lot of these flying cutscenes from different places, isn't they? It's kind of cool. Wow. Was it some other section of the city that was under attack? Or the city we always land at? Are we going to see a scenes of destruction? I didn't know. She had a rough time of it. That kid. She was always trying to please her mum. No. Trying to live up to her mum's expectations. Thing is, sometimes life deals you a shitty hand. We were all desperate. Should have seen the crap I went through. This ain't a sympathy vote, though. You're so strong. More than me. That doesn't even factor. It's your attitude that matters. I hate to break it to you, but that's being strong. I was born with a gift, and I'm using it as all. And if you hadn't been born with it? 
You see the problem now? Anything? Sorry, Mom. Nothing for the past half hour. <sighs> so we were overwhelmed. Don't you think it's strange, though? Hmm? We've already covered so much ground, but it's been dead silent. That's a point. If they've already overthrown the city, why haven't we met any resistance? No. Huh? This is what she wants. She's biding her time, waiting. Ready to give us a piece of her mind, I'll bet. 